Greetings Traveller, I'm Chris and welcome to episode 1 of series 1 of my World of Warcraft classic hardcore self-found challenge playing as a Dwarven subtlety rogue. The self-found challenge states that I cannot buy items from the auction house or players nor can I trade with them. The items I use must be from looted enemies or made myself. Hopefully this will be more than one episode for this character but let's jump in and see how we go. To quote Blizzard's description of this mode, enter the game and do your best to live. I have the icons for self-found adventurer, so I can't trade, and I have never known defeat. So we will see what, what happens. Can I do for you? Dwarven outfitters. Off with you. What do we have here? You look as though you might need something to keep your hands warm. Hmm? I'll tell you what would help. A pair of nice warm gloves, and being the kind of soul that I am, I'd be more than happy to provide you with a suitable pair. I have one condition, however. I need you to go and get me some wolf meat. Nice arrangement, hmm? You bring me some wolf meat, and I'll make sure you don't lose any digits to frostbite. Well, what do you say? With like eight pieces of tough wolf meat. See you soon. I probably won't uh, read through fully every quest here, because we actually have a lot of questing to go. We don't really have any XP buff. So we're going to be doing a lot of questing in a lot of different areas, um, just to maintain a good... Uh, good stance ahead of the curve for, for XP range. We don't want to get too behind on mobs. But I will uh, obviously look to uh, read the notable ones and keep them open for you, uh, you guys to read as well. So we have Sinister Strike, Eviscerate, and we have Throw. Well, they actually should do some proper damage. In terms of add-ons, I really just have Questy. And the, I don't actually have an add-on for LFG, which should probably not be much use for this, uh, for this one. I don't have anything else uh, listed as yet. Quite new to Hardcore, so um, I'll try and play it safe and, and see how we go. And in terms of talents, I will be moving into subtlety just because it provides a lot of provisions for safety. Uh, and I think as a kind of class fantasy, it's kind of cool to be a rogue that kind of stalks from the shadows, does damage, and then returns back into the safety of the shadows. So we'll uh, we'll try it out and see. Professions-wise, I'll be looking at. I was toying with them. Um, Toying with uh, mining and engineering, but I think uh, for this character, herbalism and alchemy will be good, purely for the elixirs and health potions. And we'll be looking at um, cooking uh, as well to produce better food. Uh, perks. So we have um, dodge, um, gives a chance to dodge enemy melee attacks, a ratio of fine treasure, we have frost resistance, gun specialization, and stone form. So stone form, when active, grants immunity to bleed, poison, and disease effects. In addition, armor increased by 10% and it lasts 8 seconds on a 3 minute cooldown. So it's going to be one of our uh, emergency buttons. I will put our emergency uh, buttons up here. Up here. That's a quick access. In terms of um, skills, we really just have the basics for now. I think this is going to be a much slower paced kind of uh, playthrough. Taking it safe. Possibly some episodes will just be um, fashion based. Um, but I will try and keep a good tempo. Maybe do a bit of the grinding off screen. But as it's hardcore... I would absolutely hate to die off screen and not have that.
been a while since I've been in the uh, Dwarven starting area, so it's good to uh, be back. Try not to get too carried away with screenshots to my own detriment. Probably do a fair bit of grinding as well. And um, hopefully we'll level up in this um, starter area and then move over to Elwyn to uh, just increase our XP uh, and gold and gear drops. Probably move to Rafting Vale as well What's at some point. On your mind? Wolves give you a bit of trouble. You do well to avoid the fangs and claws and other sharp bits. Yes? Ah, wonderful. The meat should do nicely and don't worry. I wouldn't forget my part of the bargain. Here, one of these should fit you. Safe travels. The armor is good armor. Holdridge Valley Mail Delivery. Hmm, I don't suppose you'd be willing to do me a favor, lad. A stack of letters came through the pass today, but I don't have the time to send them along. They're all addressed to Tal and Kenai. You can find him in the west down the road. He set up camp next to the frozen lake. What do you say? Watch your back. See you Cryptid soon. room. While they were helping me out, this room was given to me to pass on to you. Take some time to read it, and when you have a chance, I'm thinking it came from the rogue trainer soul. Take a gander at it, and go find him inside Anvermar when you have a chance. Read the encrypted room and speak to soul. Safe travels. Another room, okay. Brother, I hope this room finds you well. I wanted to take a moment to let you know that I'm inside Anvilmar above Coldridge Valley. I know how important it is we all stick together and in this time of strained peace, it's becoming even more important to have our kind around. Look for me when you have some time. No. Safe travels. What can I get for you today? Keep your feet on the ground. Go up there now. What's on your mind? A new threat. I hope you're here to lend us a hand, Rogue. After the last drug attack, we could use all help we can get. I hear the bugs have been popping up all across the lands, and it seems Coldridge Valley is no exception. They've been spotted all over the hills to the southeast and near the frozen lake, and that's not all. Just a few nights ago, they attacked and overran our camp to the west. We're a bit short-handed here, lad, and we need strong arms to help drive the drugs back. Kill six rock draw drugs, six burly rock draw drugs, and you can get possibly some few bad boots. See you soon. How are you? What's on your mind? Be good. You made it. Great. We've got an influx of activity lately, so I'm glad to count another of Ironforged clan among our numbers. Nothing like a cold blade in your hand and a shadow to keep you one step ahead. And if you're here, you know exactly what I mean. With you. Anyway, as you start peeking around Coldridge, you probably have need of training at some point. You just come back to me whenever you feel you need it, and I'll teach you what I know. A trick here, a maneuver there. You know, the stuff that keeps you alive and making a little extra coin. Keep an eye out on our gnomish friends too. They kind of got the short end of the stick with what Gnomagon began being. Destroyed. They'll need our help to feel welcome. Watch your back, Christiana Pint. Okay, so we can get stealth. I'm going to wait for level 4 for the rest. Pickpocket's going to be really good. I feel like pickpocket's the kind of thing that could get me into a lot of trouble uh, later on. 
fuck with you. Stealth, brilliant. Let's see if we can then put that to a shot, okay? figure out what that is. I don't actually know. I've not seen it before. Ooh, is there any, uh, Break to meet you. any weapons vendors here? Talk to me, interest you on the fight. Watch your How back. are you? Can we get... 1.2 damage. That's actually quite a nice upgrade. It's not an upgrade because it's an actual new weapon we need. Okay, we'll have to come back for that. I don't know if I should have got that over stealth, but... Okay, so... We, uh... Early rock jaws. Plenty. Gold-wise, I think we are going to struggle with that, so... Um, we'll just see what we can do. Don't mind grouping up maybe uh, for a few things, but um, for stuff like this, unless it's like a really high-end elite, probably best to just uh, go it alone. Lightly declined. Don't really, I've never actually had anyone ask the group on this section before. as well. In terms of dangers, I uh quite easy to self found as well. I imagine the dangers are gonna be the things you don't actually notice. So poison damage um, crits uh, critical hits against you. But that's where the fun is. Cave. My brother Senna and I sent, were sent to different parts of Dunmoreau to investigate the threat posed by the trolls. The Senna has its hands full with the trucks, so no need for further annoyances. From what I've seen, the trolls aren't well situated here in Coldridge Valley, mostly the Southern Cave. I say that the army will not be necessary. A few strong arms should be more than enough. Perhaps you'd like to assist in this endeavour. I have the authority to offer compensation for your help. And we'd like you to kill 14 Frostmane Troll Wemps and you get a dagger and it has 1.9 damage per second, which is a really nice uh, nice item. See you soon. Thank <laughs> you. 
From what I've read about Subtlety in terms of being a hardcore uh, character, it is good at single target damage and outputting a lot of um, raw power onto it and we'll have things like uh, abilities to kind of reset our cooldown so it should be good for getting out of a tight squeeze. I've seen a lot of self found players playing as priests as well. Um, which I would imagine is a really good class to play. All that healing, good uh, range damage, Talk fields. Be good. Up with you. Thank you. I've been waiting for these letters for quite some time. Unfortunately, these letters aren't all for me. This one is addressed to Grelin Whitebeard. He's not too far away if you'd like to deliver it to him. Be good. If I remember correctly, Grelin's camp is down the road to the southeast. No doubt he'll be eager to get his mail. Watch your back. Mail delivery now. The boar hunter. Nothing like a day of boar hunting, yeah? Though here in Coldridge Valley, there are so many boars it almost takes the fun out of it. No need to get them charging. They're all angry and ready without any help. In fact, recently there's been so much many boars in the area, it's become dangerous for me to do my daily hunting. Long story short, if you could help me kill some of the boars, I would appreciate it. Kill 12 boars. Get some leather pants. Pretty good as well. Very good. Okay, so we need boars. Um, we'll hand in a new threat. Now we'll do the boars first, we may as well. We're in this area. I don't think it makes too much of a difference to be honest. And the meat will be good. Cooking. So 45 for Sinister Strike and Eviscerate is 35 energy. By surprise, weapons. <laughs> yep. Practice our stealth skills.
with the little yellow still, so we can uh, get through them with ease. make the use of uh, rested bonus as well. I have rested XP and uh, you have to grind a little bit just to get to the next level then then so be it. It's gonna be a different pace as it's a as it's a hardcore salt pound character. This is in fact my my second hardcore character so I am compared to a lot of other players I am extremely new to this. Oof a red I really should be out. Uh, use my, my throne to uh, pull. Well, make the use of the uh, easy XP while it's only 1400 points to get to the next level. And it gets higher from here. Ooh, okay. It may have been a nice sort of upgrade. Oh, no, it wasn't. Okay. I don't want to get rid of too many things, but yeah, we're not going to need water, so we can get rid of that. Actually, I'll I'll pull from here. I don't really want to ever let my energy get to a hundred and just waste the potential for that energy, so my energy get back and brilliant. Tarnishes Mortbeat Soul. Okay, so he's gone. I've not actually got the hardcore add-on, which I might do again, but it's just... It was so obtrusive last time, it's just everywhere. Bit of a Game of Thrones reference. And we got a ding, which means we can get the level 4 spells. Going well. Looking particularly, uh, particularly roguish. My dagger. Make sure there's nothing around. If you have to kite really far, we will. There's no reds behind us, so just gonna have to get in that mindset, I think. These guys take it really seriously, <laughs> it would seem. It really does add a whole new dimension to the game. on this. 30 yards, that's good. Hopefully once we get higher we can start using things like uh, stealth combined with ambush 
to do some right, really nice uh, single target high DPS. Red Butter will be probably since the strike can eviscerate for a while. Genuinely interested to see what the, um, the higher level zones are like. Things like Stranglethorn, Naris, and so on. Um, especially in hardcore, like how populated is, is those areas? Respawners as well is something to uh, be mindful of, let's just say. If you've seen any of my previous videos, you do you see that I have a tendency to. Uh, jump into the fray and not worry too much about respawners my detriment Actually, that is actually an upgrade. Two armor. Not really something we can pass up. Very much looking forward to getting sap and gouge. Be a lot safer, especially when we uh, start encountering clusters of mobs soon as well. Making a lot of use of that. Sapping one one uh, enemy, gouging another, and uh, burning through our energy to uh, take down the, uh, the main target. Brilliant. So, clear this area. We'll uh, hand in along. It's PvP. Is PvP enabled? Okay. Uh... Okay. Valley mail delivery. Ah, excellent. It's been a while since I received word from my Forge. All right, those black light blasted trolls. He takes a few breaths and seems to settle down a bit. A group of them came in the night and stole my journal. I knew better than to trust that good for nothing. Anvilmar knife. That is a, a really good weapon. Safe travel. Stolen journal. My journal. They took it away to the cave. The one that had it, it was a big brute. With some odd markings on his skin and face. I didn't get a much better look than that. You've had some luck with the trolls. Maybe you could go get it back for me. We can do that. Keep your feet on the ground. Okay, so let's just equip our dagger. So this is a uh, 2 to 4 damage with a speed of 1.6. Do damage. Cannot dual wield. Oh, I think I have to um, spec into that yet. Okay, well, I'll keep that as a, um, something for the future use then. 
You got my attention. How are ya? Golding Morn Brew Delivery. Yeah, I was supposed to get this delicious scalding morn brew to Durnham Fur Cutter inside Anvilmora a while ago now, but I had to deliver one to Grelin here first. I'll never make it to Anvilmar before the brew runs cold. You look fast. Maybe you could make it. This cup will only stay hot for five more minutes, and Durnham didn't order chilly morn brew, so get going. Anvilmar is to the northeast, a settlement dug into the mountain. And don't forget to bring back my mug. Pick up the air. Okay, so we've got five minutes. We will go for it. I think we can uh, we can take a little bit of a round round turn. If necessary, we will just complete the quest again. Engine. Watch your back. And keep going. straight in there. Paladin, that would be a good self-found uh, character as well. Adriadin Soul. That was that um, that was the character that asked us to our group before and then went full PvP mode. But I didn't group with him. You do need to be careful with a few characters on there. On this server that will try to uh, damage to your run. You. Watch your back. I am Darn in Fern Cutter. You have something for me. Safe it's travel. good to know this will hit the spot. Allow me to take a small break while I'm enjoying this scalding morn brew. See you soon. Nothing like a piping hot nape scalding morn brew on a cold winter's day to warm your cackles of your soul. Watch your back. What's on your mind? A time quest for that. Brilliant. I don't really need to reset the food. Do you need to keep that? Off with you. So I do need to start Aye. thinking about professions now. I'm not sure I can actually learn herbalism and me here. Can I? Here there. We'll also have to be careful about our spells as well because money is going to be tight uh, because we can't use the auction house. Uh, hopefully we can sell the food we fish and cook and excess potions back. I would assume that's the best way of doing it apart from questing and pickpocketing. Oof. So backstab. Backstab the target goes on 150 weapon damage plus 15 to the target. Must be behind the target. Uh, so we will need that. We will need pocket as well. Refugees quandary. We drove the drugs out of Nomagon, but then it all went so horribly wrong. Now our home is completely irradiated, and we gnomes have been scattered all over Dunmorrow. In my haste to get away from the radiation, I lost all my personal belongings and tools. It was the trolls that got them. They stole my chest, my box, and my bucket of bolts. They took them back to their camp southwest of Anvilmar. 
I'm no adventurer. Could you please find my things and bring them here to me? You have a great day now. You can do that. Great to meet you. How are you? What can I get for you today? Okay, so we've pretty much burnt through all our money already. I think we might just have enough to get professions. I'm not too sure. We need to find guards actually, so they can. What can I do for you? Great to meet you. I don't think we're gonna get professions here, really. Okay. But we can pickpocket at least. What's on your mind? A new threat. The problems we've had here are indicative of what is happening elsewhere in our lands. I've magnized beard, we have some troubles ahead of us. I can only hope that the King and Senate are taking steps to deal with the threat the Trugs pose. Be good. Well met. You got my attention. How are you? What's on your mind? How are you? See you soon. Okay, so supplies to Tanit. Don't think we need to do that yet. So we'll head over to bring back the mug. We'll look to do uh, a refugee's quandary. Um, and then the stolen journal. Definitely nothing here to get. No. Okay, we'll fight our way back as well. See if we can't just get a level. We're doing a pretty hard variant of the game, so any help we can do to make it easier. Let's see why not. Just took that character's uh, uh, enemy as well. So I've made a, an enemy for life there, a Grumpug. Okay, so. And a drug. You pickpocket it. So we can pickpocket and then wow that is a really nice uh that's a really nice bit of damage from that backstab okay oh. and it can be resisted so i do need to be careful exactly who i try to steal from Kind of like Skyrim as well, um, I suppose. Let's get a little practice on these guys. Okay, so we're not exactly going to um, be super rich, but we'll throw in a... Yes, that was about 55% health. What is... technically die by that fire right if I was just on there too long to wasn't paying attention I trust the scalding morn brew got to Durnham on time did you remember to bring back my mug Safe excellent travels. you'd be surprised how many couriers I get who forget to do something as simple as bring back the mugs mugs don't grow on trees or so they tell me here's a little something for the effort thanks again for your help the amount of drinks that um, character's been given by players is phenomenal see you soon okay so um, we will head into the cave shortly after doing uh, a refugee's quandary. We'll just take it nice and easy. Practice on these yellows. Okay, not bad. I 
need to open that a little bit. We play it safe and do nothing fancy, just kind of pull them out. That's handy. Uh, probably join a guild at some point, but not just yet. Backstab on. Lovely. It's almost making it too easy. Good XP as well, so there's no point really dodging them. Yes, gotta say, being a self found with stealth is a really nice feature. I kind of wish they gave it a cooler name, but it's what it is. Okay, so, the Stolen Journal. Now, are these all red? They are all red. We could kind of just stealth our way in. Um, we are losing our speed. We don't have sat. And I do want all of this XP as well. Guys turn so quickly.
Mage is also a fantastic class to do this on as well. This is the chap. I think he respawns. He respawns a little bit longer than the others. This could be a really precarious situation. This probably is not a good idea, actually. Anything to do with them, so it's just the way it is. Let's see me, please. So, did I get that? Yeah, I've got it completed. Okay. Caves. Yeah, caves are going to be a real problem doing this, I think. If, um, I want to get out, but I also really want this XP. It's a bad situation before that. I didn't really have anything to get me out of it. like a good journal quest I have to admit. It does slow the pace of questing down but I just like to see what's happening. It gives you a bit more immersion. Day 1. The apprentice and I have arrived in Coldridge Valley. Today. The trip through the cave was mostly uneventful. We made camp a good distance away from the cave 
We're told the trolls have gathered in. They too. Bloody wolf howling almost kept me up all night. I will have new wolf hide clothing in a few days. The lad got tangled up with a truck today, put up a fight and managed to get the better of the ugly brute. But he's now nursing a nasty cut on his arm. Looks like I'll have to do the chores for a while. Day three. Cold. Snowed a bit around noon. Day four. The lad was back and in good spirits today, so we took our first look at the trolls. Frostmane, I'd say, judging by the markings on their skin and the various trinkets they wore on their bodies. Day five. Had the lad watch over the camp and I snuck over to the cave and took a look around. The trolls' numbers are somewhat troublesome. The mountaineers might have to be summoned in force if the cave is to be cleared of the troll infestation. I realise I have not mentioned the trogs of late. They appear in the area in greater numbers, but they are so primitive that they do not pose much of a threat. Time may say if this is true or not. Had not a drop of ale for almost a week now. Absolutely terrible conditions. Day 6. Cold again. Snows. Trolls. No ale. Day 7. Snow below so white. Sky above so blue. Wolves will howl the night. Not a drop of brew. Day 8. The trolls are perhaps not as large as a problem as we initially thought. They have some numbers but are not well armed or organised. A small show of force should be more than adequate in dealing with the threat they pose. If only. Well met. Ainbrim, any luck? Wonderful. Many thanks for retrieving my notebook. Well, it would seem that the troll situation here in Colvidge Valley is under control and not much cause for worry. After I put the finishing touches on my report, I'll need someone to courier it to my brother, Senna. Senna. I think, I think weapons typically sell more, even if it's just marginally. Keep your feet on the ground. Senna's observations. I was planning on sending my apprentice to my brother, Senna, with my report, but I would feel much better were it placed in more reliable hands, that is, of course. If you wouldn't mind. Hmm. You'll have to take the tunnel to get to Karanos. Speak with Mountaineer Thalos before going through the tunnel. It's completely infested with drugs now. Follow the road back to Anvilmar, then keep heading east to the tunnel. Thalos is stationed nearby. Be good. That's a pretty cool name. Hi. Just head straight back. Ah, another man of taste. as well get some free XP. Sell a few bits, I'll sell it now. That is really, uh, that was really nice. Yeah, Paladin buffs and uh, priest buffs are going to be very much appreciated. Great to meet you. Oh goodness, this town is not well suited for the likes of me. There are many, as many nasty creatures here as there were in Nomagon before the accident. Do you have my belongings? If you don't, then who knows what the trolls have done with them. Bizarre! You found them. You're an absolute saviour, my friend. Here, it's not much, but it's something for the trouble I've put you through. Thank you. Off and away! Off and away. Um, we, we, got, we don't really need anything yet. We're only we're so close to six, though. I really don't really want to 
leave the area without getting these, but how just specially. Watch your back. But we have to move on. That must be the self-found uh, indication. That's pretty cool. It's not too um it's not too showy, not too gaudy, but um, yeah, you can see another player with that. Hail, have a care. The tunnel to Dunmorrow is infested with trogs and it's not safe for travel. If you haven't any pressing business in Dunmorrow, I'll have to ask you to remain in Anvilmar until the tunnel is safer. Keep your feet on the ground. Well, if Whitebeard is sending you to Dunmorrow on important business, I can't very well stop you, can I? At least let me provide you with some advice and directions. Be good. The trogs in the tunnel are extremely hostile and haven't shown any hesitation in attacking travellers through the tunnel. You seem tough enough though, so you should be you should probably be safe. Directions? If you're going to speak with Senna, you'll find him in Karanas. Make your way through the tunnel and after you come out on the other side, just keep following the road. It'll run right into Karanas. Safe travel. Probably pronouncing that incorrectly. Greetings. Supplies to Tanak. Hey, you look like a hearty adventurer. If you're planning on braving the pass, do you suppose you could bring a package to the inn in Karanas? If you're planning on stopping at the inn, right? You make it through the pass, you'll definitely want to take a breather there. Anyway, bring this to Tanit Frosthammer, the innkeeper's assistant. I can get through the pass myself and it'll be days until a mountaineer escort comes through. I can't get through the pass, sorry. All okay, right, we can do that. Well Hello. Level four. I'm very interested in pickpocketing now. Green copper, that's the best we've had so far. Liking the pickpocket backstab eviscerate combo. Perfect. Then those parlor bus can't last longer. level characters possibly. Some of them are so uh, twitchy the way they move. Just stay there, that'd be wonderful. Can 
And if you do have any rogue advice, I'd be absolutely uh, open to any suggestions, comments on talents or ways of playing. Um, I have heard it is an extremely complex class to really play a, uh, in a decent fashion, especially at a high level. Um, so I'd be interested in your points of views. And if you are doing hardcore, uh, self-bound rogue or any other character, um, please do let me know how you're getting on in your travels. I think we can grab a few uh, sessions while we're here. on your mind how are you like to share a drink with me perhaps not much else to do in the cold Off with what's you. this ah my brother's report hmm i told him to be sparing with the use of the king's name but he didn't listen no harm i suppose though it's sure to ruffle some feathers in the senate not that those weren't some feathers that needed ruffling huh. nonetheless i guess that means that i should send my report on to ironforge as well but i must admit i'm a bit behind bloody cold I should have some work for you later, if you're interested. Watch your back. What can I do for you? Clear, beer, beer basted boar ribs. Nothing my tavern patrons enjoy more than some beer basted boar ribs. Only problem is the local trapper who used to be bring my supplies enlisted in the King's army to help with the war on the Alliance front. Maybe you can help me out. If you bring me six Cragbor ribs and a Rhapsody malt from the tavern here, I'll give you the family recipe for my famous beer basted boar ribs, not to mention a free sample. The secret's in the malt. Ragnar Thunderbrew in Karanus wants to see six Cragbor ribs. Okay. Definitely gonna get that, get some cooking uh, learnt. Brilliant, so we've got access to uh, more professions. To me. Tools for Steel Grill. Belt Steel Grin Steel Grill owns the local mechanic shop and is the best siege engine tech there is. But he's not forgiving to his tools. I swear he almost breaks more arc light spanners than we can supply him with. We just fitted his last order for tools. If you deliver it to him, I'm sure he'll make it worth the effort. His shop, Steel Grill's Depot, 
is just northeast of Karanas, and it's a local haunt for veteran siege engine pilots, so keep your ears open for opportunities while you're there. Off with you. Let's have a look here, see what's around. I think these are, uh, yeah, blacksmithing, armor. Okay. You got my attention. Oh, that's nice as well. Gonna need that is actually pretty much a mandatory weapon to get, so I'm gonna have to grab and scrounge for silver one. So it is uh, safe to say I have a lot of work to get doing in uh, in this area. Flies to panic. Hi there, come in. Take a seat by the fire and warm yourself with a flagon of ale. Watch your back. At last, the supplies from hands. I was beginning to worry. We've had scarce word from Anvil Mar since I have the drugs over on the pass. Thanks for bringing this to me. Please make yourself comfortable. You must be tired after your journey. Off with you. Hi. Okay, so priest, innkeeper. I've the finest wares in the land. Probably gonna need oh, silver for a pouch. Wow. Travels. Great to meet you. How much is first aid training? That's expensive as well. One silver. Wow. See you soon. Get an idea of prices. I have the finest wires in the line. Safe travels. Great to Rhapsody meet you. Rhapsody malt we need. We can get that later after the ball blasted rib, so we might as well save bag space. Great to meet you. Let's see who we've got here. Rogue What's trainer. Okay. Mind? Hey, we've opened up a lot of spells. Brilliant. I wonder if that's something we'll see. So, nothing from assassination, from combat. These two are going to be mandatory. Dual wield, yep. Yeah. Oh, level 10, that's fantastic. Parry, yep. Yeah. One pick, yep. Yeah. Poison's 20. Stealth, level 10 spell, really cool, really good. Cracked, so many useful items, right. Okay. So, gouge. Sinister strike. Very good. Fire of energy, okay. You got my attention. I'm just cooking one silver. Oof. See you soon. This is quite nice. This is actually quite a nice, uh, comfy room. I think what we'll do since we're here and we have, uh, a lot to discover here. Um, we will rest up, gain a little bit of XP, and we will continue uh, on our journeys next time. So I'd like to thank you for joining on this first hardcore self-found episode, and I hope to see you next time.